What did German soldiers shock the Red Army during World War II? As Ivan Melnikov, a soldier of the 1025th Mortar Company, recalled, as soon as you climbed into a dugout, you could immediately feel the presence of these beasts. The practice of using other people's bedding also contributed to the spread of lice among the Germans. Sometimes Wehrmacht soldiers simply took blankets, pillows and mattresses from local residents. The unsanitary conditions were exacerbated by the fact that in the early months of the war on the Eastern Front, the Germans had no normal facilities for washing and laundering clothes. According to to Lieutenant Everett Gottfried, it was from the Red Army soldiers that their units learned the habit of regular washing, clothes washing and parasite control. The Soviet soldiers guarding the German prisoners of war were surprised by the fact that the prisoners were always trying to do something to occupy themselves. Apparently, the inherent industriousness of this people manifested itself even in such a difficult period of life. Former soldiers of the Wehrmacht found strength and desire to organize theatrical circles, literary clubs, choral groups. Many were engaged in handicrafts, made boxes, cigarette cases, chess and toys.